A look at what happened moments ago, right after they got out of their car. Tony Stewart coming over to talk to Ernie Francis Jr., visibly upset, grabbing onto his fire suit. These two going back and forth. Tony was irate, you guys, talking to him. Willie T, I know you're standing by with Tony. Yes, I, yes, I am. I'm with SRX champ Tony Stewart. It's gotten a little rough out there, but, you know, this, this is the game. And uh, you were like Uncle Uncle Tony to Ernie just now. Well, they've pissed off Uncle Tony right now, so they're about ready to get a dose of it that they don't want. So, uh, trust me, I know every dirty trick and got it in my bag. I mean, when somebody, when you're following somebody and the guy's on the outside and as soon as he gets clear, he just turns down across, that's the dumbest shit you can do, I swear to God. It's like... I, I'm just done playing nice with everybody. It's like the, anybody that touches me, I'm touching back times five. So just done jacking with some of these clowns. Well, uh, you and uh, Paul Tracy uh, got some uh, got some axes to grind, but that's the show. That's the show that you that we got here. You're getting ready to get one hell of a show for the rest of the next uh, the rest of this night and the next four weeks. I can promise you, because there's guys that are good friends. I mean, I love Ernie Francis. I think he's I'm so excited. I was so excited he got here last year. I was so excited he ran well in one IRP and it got him a chance in an Indy Lights car and he deserves it. He is so talented and he's way more talented than doing the stupid shit that he just did out there and that's probably what ticked me off the most. It's like I try to race these guys all with respect and give them room and we got cars we got to run the next four weeks in a row and to have guys making stupid mistakes just pisses you off. Well, well my name is Bennett and I'm not in it. So, Matt, see you now. Well, the professor, Tony Stewart, talking about how he's one of the biggest Ernie Francis Jr. fans, but he's getting ready to serve his presence with authority, doing the multiplication by five. So what was your side of the story with Stewart and the conversation after? Because he was voicing his opinion pretty strong. Yeah, you know, he came over afterwards pretty upset. You know, I'm not going to take that from him. You know, I know he's the boss, but, uh, you know, Rubin's racing out there. Uh, he got up on my inside. I didn't see him there. I was too wide with... Uh, with Andretti and someone else, I turned down, didn't see his car in there the last second. You know, for him to hit me under caution, that's kind of a dirty move there. You know, that's kind of stuff that Paul Tracy does for him to come in and come after me and push me around after that. You know, I'm not going to take that from him. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to go out there and race. You know, got to try and uh, turn our night around. Uh, going to work on the car in this, uh, in this break and try and get the car uh, faster so we can work our way to the front. So uh, see if we can get to his back bumper. You can hear it. He wants to get back to Stewart's back bumper. This is going to get exciting. Well, Mm -hmm. Yoakum, what I...